we found this kid as we were coming out is blocking our way so I uh, decided we need to pull him out to help to basically help him out and get him out of my way so I get on, on the road get out of there but I didn't want to come out and try to get turned around and, and pull him out so what we did was uh, we took out a snatch block and we'll set it up so that way it pulls him directly back up on the road so he can he can get out of there and we can get back to what we were doing. I hear the, the winch cable is a little bit too long uh, for, for the space the winch actually has, and so it was wanting to bind up, and I was having to reel it in and out, in and out, try to get to work that, that binding out of it. And put the tree saver hooked up with the snatch block to put a shackle on it. We'll try to wind it back out to get over there to his truck. I mentioned something the easiest way to do it is just uh, pull it directly from my truck there, get a bunch of slack, and then tighten it up. Take the slack over there to his truck and then uh, now, whenever you're doing something like this, communication is key. You want to be clear that that rope piece snaps. So I got over there beside him so I could talk to him and then just kind of coach him through it. Now, stop him right here because I don't want to have him run over the top of my winch cable and then him stuck and we can't get the winch cable out. So let him, I don't want him to outpace it. He wanted to just put his uh, you know, lead foot on there and go. Same thing, probably got him stuck. out of there and get him to turn his wheel so he can start getting up on the road. So I went over there and I'm going to unlatch the cable and kick it off to the side. Well, what's that kid looking at? So that, once again, I don't want him to run up on top of my winch cable. I told him to uh, go ahead and start going. And you notice that I just about fell down right there. I actually have a pair of Mac, or, uh, yak tracks in the truck I should have pulled out put on my boots so it's sliding all over the place. And his problem is He's young, doesn't really know what he's doing, and he's a two-wheel drive truck. And what he wanted to do, apparently, is turn around right there, and he sunk his back tires off the road. These old forest road, once you get off the road, the snow just increases so much. Here, I'll tell him to go slow. Slow and steady wins the race in the snow. And see, his tires were sliding right there. If you slide it too much, it'll basically melt that water. When you stop, it'll instantly freeze and turn it into a uh, little ice block. Do that either. Go. See you. So, okay, thank you. Off he goes. Snatch block is a cheap, Snatch easy thing to have in your truck. You can do a lot with it. And I recommend everyone go buy one before you go off into something that's really hairy like that. Okay.